W.E.B. Dubois, The World in Africa, Inquiry into the Part Which Africa Has Played in World History, offers a profound examination of Africa's integral role in global history, challenging the Eurocentric narratives that have long marginalized the continent's contributions. Dubois meticulously traces Africa's influence from ancient civilizations to contemporary times, underscoring its significance in shaping the world's cultural, economic, and political landscapes. In the opening sections, Dubois dismantles the myth of Africa as a continent devoid of history and culture prior to European colonization. He highlights the achievements of ancient African civilizations such as Egypt, Nubia, and Ethiopia, illustrating their advanced systems of governance, education, and commerce. These civilizations, Dubois argues, were not isolated but were deeply interconnected with other parts of the world through trade and cultural exchanges. This interconnectedness refutes the notion of African societies as primitive and isolated, positioning them instead as active participants in the global historical narrative. Dubois delves into the trans-Saharan trade routes, which facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies between Africa and other continents long before the arrival of Europeans. He emphasizes the role of African empires like Mali and Songhai in fostering these exchanges, noting their contributions to global advancements in mathematics, astronomy, and medicine. The rich cultural and intellectual heritage of Africa, Dubois asserts, played a crucial role in the development of human civilization. The narrative shifts to the impact of European colonization on Africa, where Dubois offers a scathing critique of the exploitation and dehumanization that accompanied the colonial enterprise. He chronicles the devastating effects of the transatlantic slave trade, which not only stripped Africa of millions of its people but also disrupted its social and economic structures. Dubois argues that the wealth generated from African labor and resources was instrumental in the rise of Western industrialization, yet Africa itself was left impoverished and destabilized. Dubois does not shy away from addressing the ideological underpinnings of racism that justified colonialism. He examines the pseudoscientific theories that were propagated to depict Africans as inferior and thus deserving of subjugation. These racist ideologies, he contends, were not only morally reprehensible but also intellectually bankrupt, as they ignored the vast contributions of African civilizations to world history. By debunking these fallacies, Dubois seeks to restore the dignity and agency of African people in the historical record. In the latter part of the book, Dubois explores the struggles for independence and self-determination across the African continent. He documents the rise of nationalist movements and the efforts of African leaders to reclaim their sovereignty from colonial powers. Dubois is optimistic about the future of Africa, envisioning a continent that, once freed from the shackles of colonialism, could take its rightful place in the global community. He calls for a reimagining of Africa's role in the world, one that acknowledges its past contributions and recognizes its potential for future progress. Dubois analysis extends to the diaspora, highlighting the cultural and intellectual exchange between Africa and its diasporic communities. He celebrates the resilience and creativity of African-descended peoples, whose contributions to art, music, literature, and political thought have enriched global culture. This transatlantic dialogue, Dubois suggests, is a testament to the enduring connections between Africa and its diaspora, and a source of strength and inspiration for future generations. The World and Africa, Inquiry into the Part Which Africa Has Played in World History, is a seminal work that challenges the marginalization of Africa in historical discourse. Dubois' comprehensive and nuanced exploration of Africa's contributions to global history serves as a corrective to centuries of misrepresentation and neglect. His call for a more inclusive and accurate historical narrative remains as relevant today as it was at the time of the book's publication. Through rigorous scholarship and impassioned advocacy, Dubois reclaims Africa's place in world history, offering a vision of a future where its contributions are rightfully acknowledged and celebrated.